Today, you are being tested on contrast. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. The drawing on this is really challenged. The perspective on the drawing and then the size of the bulbs make the bat not a bat. A bat is this long. You have to capture that somehow. I think that I hit contrast. I decided to design this really simple, and I know now that that was a mistake. It looks like a glass. It looks like a pin. It looks like anything but a baseball bat. For me, my vote's for Jordan. Seeing the three of these things together, the one that has the least amount of contrast to me is Jordy. I dislike that Kraken immensely. But to, to pick a baseball bat that's not a baseball bat is equally I got weird with it. Bad decision, I know. It's hard. It, my vote's for Jordan. The judges have decided, Jordan, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I don't feel like I was really meant to go today, but, you know, I trust the judges' opinions, and I feel like the jury of peers had my back, honestly. All right, guys, we're here as the jury of peers to determine who we're all going to send to the bottom. What about Jordan's bat? Yes, it has shortcomings in the design and perspective, but I feel like it has a challenge a lot more than Jarrell. I think that me going home completely shook everybody. Nobody thought <laughs> I was going to go home. Um, there was every other person's name in that lineup except for mine. All right, in the bottom, we'll see Jordy, Raul, and Jordan. <laughs> Holy what shit. What did I tell dude. you, Jessa? I'm fucking confused and I'm pissed off that Jordan's down there. I think that everybody who's left is really questioning everything and I think that they know not to assume and to always be prepared. Oh my god! I'm ready. Let's kick their ass and their ass and their ass. Midwest for life? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that works. Being on Team Midwest, I feel like all the right people were on it. All the weirdos congregated together and made a really cool team. The judges have decided, Midwest, you have the best tattoo of the day. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this was the most independent thing I've ever done for myself, and it was so difficult. I feel like I could have gotten farther, and I'm sad that I'm going home this early, but the fact that I even made it this far, I can't complain. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. It's going to be hard going back to the tattoo shop at home. I'm going to be a lot harder on myself and a lot harder on the people around me. You know, those critiques really made me, like, rethink it, like, rewired my brain. And it's in the best way possible. It's only up from here, even though this is, this is difficult. And I'm sad. <laughs>